I am a kernel boy. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is like not a cute burger. The CEO, he could have my firstborn child gladly. I'm just such a diehard Five Guys fan. Welcome back. Today, your favorite Buzzfeeders are trying each other's favorite burger orders. What we do is we rank each other's orders out of 10 and the person with the highest rank at the end wins. I'm a burger boy. They're great hungover, they're great drunk, they're great sober. It's a perfect meal. You can eat it on the go, you can go out and eat posh burgers. Very versatile. If I could eat burgers for the rest of my life and just that, I would do it. And I know that might sound disgusting, but it's the truth. I'm a diehard burger fan. I'm a bit of a burger snob. I travel to the United States of America a lot. And their burgers, I mean, you kind of can't beat them. But for the Americans that are watching this. In Australia, anything that's inside a burger bun is considered a burger. It doesn't have to be a beef patty, which might be confusing to some Americans out there, but that's just how we do it, and it's delicious. I want the experience to transform me, to steal myself from my body. I want to have an out-of-body experience. I want to see Christ. What I'm looking for, you know, texture, super important with a burger, how fresh it tastes. The condiment game is important. You know, chips with it often improves the experience. If there's one thing that is like blasphemy in the world of burger, it's not putting sauce on it. If you have like a weird drink pairing with a burger, that's gonna freak me out a little bit. So my burger order is from Betty's Burgers uh, and it's called the Crispy Chicken Supreme. But I always put a little bit of a twist on it and I will add pineapple and bacon. Love this burger, it is so refreshing every single time I have it. I always have a side of chips and I will put on a cheeky little apple juice because as we know, I do not do fizzy drinks. This tropical wonder of a burger will change your life. Oh my God, what? Is this a kid's meal? <laughs> First impression, apple juice is an insane thing to have with a burger. I've never seen this done before. Disclaimer, I love apple juice. Okay, this is looking like a chicken and bacon burger, perhaps? I don't know what to say to this. Like, that is just like too strong of a flavor. It's like messing with my mojo. I think there's also supposed to be a pineapple in there, if you can see it. Have we not destroyed pizzas? Why are we destroying burgers as well as pizzas? Also, that burger usually has bacon in it, but we've taken it out for you. Thank you, you couldn't have taken out the bite. <laughs> I don't like tomato, so I'm gonna bite away from the tomato a bit. This is gonna take a while for me to chew. I got so much chicken. The chicken's crunchy, the cheese is good, the bacon's good. Everything's immediately sweet because of the pineapple. I'm really surprised. I was a bit judgmental going into this because I'm not Betty's Burger's biggest fan. But honestly, this I think this could be the best burger I've ever had from there. Chips are good, it's a great combo. It's a cl I don't know what cloudy apple is, and I don't know what makes an apple cloudy. That would be nice in a different context. I think with this, it's an insane combination, but more power to the person that uh, chose that. It's good. Very Macca's reminiscent, classic string fry. I was just so thrown off by the pineapple factor. I'm gonna have to score this one maybe like a seven out of 10. I would go either like a soft drink or a shake if it was me ordering. So they're gonna lose a point for the drink, but the burger's great, the chips are good. I'm gonna go six and a half out of 10 for that one. I feel like all I can taste in my mouth is apple now, so yeah. I'm gonna give this an eight. Whoa. I think they've done a good job here. M minus, <laughs> we, we don't talk about the apple juice, but an eight, yeah. I reckon I'm gonna do really well on this. Uh, I've gone for the dirty bird, the kernel. Zinger stacker, get the double spicy fried chicken fillet, get the supercharger sauce. Uh, the KFC chip that comes with a great seasoning is goat level and a Pepsi Max to wash it all down. It's the perfect combo. It's cheesy, it's crunchy, it's spicy, it's great. Hopefully the other guys think so as well. I love KFC, the burgers especially are just so beautiful. The fries, literally probably one of the best fast food fries if you ask for extra chicken salt. It doesn't look like this person has asked for extra chicken salt. Oh my God, I can see the chili. I can see it. It's in the sauce. I don't know if I've ever had a Zinger stacker. I don't know if this is different to like the usual Zinger burger. There's something I will do with KFC burgers, put my chips on it because it's gonna be good. Mm -mm, the flavors are melting on my tongue. I love that. I love a Zinger burger because it's a little more spicy than like a regular burger. Oh, it's not too bad. Like it's there. I can like taste it. Oh no, there it is. Mm, yep, there it is. <clears throat> so maybe I should have been ordering this all along 
because I'm kind of confused now, like where this has been hiding all my life. It's a little bit too salty for my liking. Like I think the double up of the Zinger patties, there's a lot of salt happening, which is great because the chips don't have any. The thing about it, right, is that it's not bad. I'm just really weak and we know that. But whoever invented these sauces, I, I'm gonna put my chips in that. Like, I'm for this. So we've got a Pepsi Max respect. I mean, they don't do Coke at um, KFC, so. I'm not my Pepsi girl, but I know I'm in the minority with that. And I've got some besties who would literally die for Pepsi Max and it's like their daily grind. So respect to that. Everything about it's good and I just can't cop the heat. I'm gonna give this an eight. I'm coming back for the Zinger stack up. This needs like a nine. It's just a very salty burger. So I think I have to give this a six. If it was just a regular Zinger burger, I think I would have rated it higher. So my order is a little cheeseburger and fries from Five Guys with a milkshake. Now Five Guys, you can add any toppings you like. So I get the ketchup, the grilled onions and the lettuce on my burger. And I get the vanilla and the Oreo added to my milkshake. The thing about Five Guys is, although it costs a house to buy a meal, it is so worth it. Like it, it is absolutely worth the money to me. The CEO, he could have my firstborn child gladly. Jerry, I would give up my firstborn child to you. That is, I'm just such a diehard Five Guys fan. Five Guys, super exciting. Uh, when I'm from the States, Five Guys is my favorite of all the burger places to go to. Um, haven't had it in Oz yet. I've never actually had Five Guys before. I don't think it's been in Australia very long. So a proper burger for you Americans. Sesame seed bun. Totally looks disheveled and like someone drove a car over it. That's exactly what you want. It makes me nervous because I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> if you did not pop a lactose before this video, everybody say a prayer for chords. Oh, I think that's like Oreo. That's nice. Very sweet. But it has like chunks of Oreo in it, which is amazing. I'm gonna try a fry first before the burger. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. I couldn't see the chips to be honest. They're, they're good on their own. They're seasoned really well. They still have like a bite to them. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is like not a cute burger. So, oh my god, look at it. Oh, okay, okay. Very excited. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's juicy, it's cheesy, it's all greasy. It'd be the perfect thing if you were hungover. That tastes exactly like a Macca's cheeseburger. I'm actually really surprised. Pretty good burger. And I would eat this again. When you have a bite of like an actual, just like bare to the bones cheeseburger, you're like, yes, this is the stuff. This is perfect. This is like back to basics. <laughs> That is a thick shake. Got an Oreo shake, amazing. Shake, the highlight, definitely. Paper straw sucks. I know that's all we live in these days, but I don't know if turtles are important enough for us suffering with paper straws. This is delicious. These are delicious. This is delicious. This is 10 out of 10, baby. <laughs> if I ate all this, I'd waddle out of the room. It reminds me of America. I'm gonna go eight and a half out of 10. I think I might give this an 8.5. That's $19 for that burger. Would you... As a meal? No, just the burger. That's a rip off. I'm giving this a seven. So my burger order, because I don't really eat burgers in Australia, is a fried chicken burger. Specifically, if you can get it from a Korean place, they've just mastered that kind of thin batter that's crunchy, but not super heavy. They always dress it up with like a super creamy slaw and pickles and cheese, and it just works on such a beautiful level. So the one that I'm serving everyone today is from Burger L, shout out, with a side of fries, excellently seasoned fries, and a Coke Zero. Oh. Coke Zero sugar. I like sugar. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> All right, we've got long boxes unbranded as well, so there's mystery involved, which is exciting. Uh, I'm gonna go with the square box first. Oh, another chicken burger. Chicken is obviously in vogue today. Love a good portion of fries. I didn't even consider the portion of fries, but I need a lot of fries. Well, it is so soft. Cannot wait to munch into this. Chicken's nice and crunchy, the cheese is good. It's like a chicken cheeseburger, which I've never really seen or heard of before. It just kind of tastes like mayo. It's simple, but it's good. The cheese is like really nice and gooey and melted and like it feels like real cheese. I'm really impressed. Good chips, great drink choice. Um, overall, really solid. The seasoning is good. And they're cheese drinks, so they're like a little bit extra special. Now, I won't waste the Coke. I won't drink it because I know I'm not gonna like it but I'm not gonna rank it down. I mean, yeah, it's a Coke Zero. I don't like it. 
but if if this is what it's a good pairing if this is what you decide to pay a burger with i approve i would give this a nine and a half this was a good burger i'm gonna give this an eight and a half the chicken's yummy uh seven out of ten the out of the chicken burgers yours was the best oh yes thank you thank but you so the overall winner was not you oh, it was five guys of course it was. Oh my God, I knew we could do it. Jerry is so proud of us and yay to five guys. I want you to expand all over Australia so everyone can taste this goodness. I am so impressed by all the burgers I've had today. Like this has been a paradigm shift in my life because I can order a chicken burger now and it will taste good and I know what to order.